On the 26th of August 2023, Gabri Vega made a 40 million euro deal to Saudi Arabian club Al Ali. After rejecting offers from European giants such as Manchester City, Barcelona and Napoli, he has been thought as one of the most exciting prospects in Europe at the moment, with him being just 21 years of age. So Vega's Saudi shift does beg the question, is he trading glory for golf gold? In today's video, we go through his upbringing and academy days at his now former club, Celta Vigo, as well as his recent breakout years for the senior first team, and why he turned down such promising opportunities elsewhere. I'm Axel Hartman, and you're watching Summer of the Crossbar. Born on the 27th of May 2002 in Perino, just a 20 minute drive from Vigo, Gabri was not only a Celta Vigo boyhood fan, but he was also a Celta Vigo youth graduate as he enrolled to the academy at just age 12. It is said that Gabri's footballing career started at his uncle's house, where there was a pumpkin on the floor and he had the instinct to kick the round-shaped object. At age four, he would join his first football club. He is a central midfielder. However, throughout his whole youth career, he has been able, and he has, played in every single position bar goalkeeper, centre-back and left-back. When a young player can play in so many different positions, it shows a high level of football IQ. Fast forward a few years, Vega made his senior debut for Celta Vigo's second team in the Spanish division at age 17. Just a few months later, he would score his first senior goal in December 2019, despite losing 6-1. In the following year, he would make his debut for the first team, coming on as a late substitute against Valencia in a 2-1 win. Before the 22-23 season, Gabri Vega was not a first-team regular whatsoever, as he had only accumulated 13 La Liga appearances so far in his career. However, this was all about to change. He would go on to make 36 La Liga appearances, scoring on 11 occasions and assisting three times, all from centre midfield. In fact, out of all of the under-21 players in Europe's top five leagues, he finished with the seventh highest goal tally only behind players such as Arsenal's Bukayo Saka and by Munich's Jamal Muziala. That is the level that he's at. He isn't just known for his goal contributions, but also his timing of pass and his ability and confidence to take a player on. He loves a 1v1. In my career, I've only seen one or two players with the characteristics of Vega. Carlos Carvajal, a Celta Vigo coach with 25 years of management, said, he is a very complete player. He has a different profile to all the other midfielders in Spain, who are usually about touch and possession. Gabri breaks games open. He is the ideal player when linking midfield with attack. Very creative, yet effective. So taking this all into account, his ability, his age, and the initial interest shown in him, it was certainly a surprise when it was announced that he would be the next addition to Saudi's summer spending spree as he joined Al Ali for 40 million euros. You see, the common theme with players such as Mares, Benzema, Ronaldo, is that they are all above the age of 30 and coming to the end of their career. So for them to join Saudi and earn a huge sum of money, it doesn't necessarily surprise you. However, Gabri Vega's career has just started. You would expect him to want to play on the world's biggest stage, not Saudi Arabia. That being said, it has always been thought that until Saudi Arabia starts bringing in younger players for the long-term future, the league could never really be taken seriously. It would always be called a retirement home. The signing of Gabri Vega is not just that Saudi Arabia are bringing in a young promising player, but more that this player would rather play in the Saudi Pro League than La Liga, the Premier League, the Serie A. For the world's biggest teams, Manchester City, Barcelona, Liverpool, Napoli. This is the caliber of team that were interested in Gabri Vega, but he chose to go to Al Ali in the Saudi Pro League. This is a statement signing, and it could be the first of many young players joining the Saudi Pro League. So what is it that Al Ali has promised Gabri Vega that European clubs couldn't? Firstly, the length of contract. Gabri Vega has only signed a three-year deal. This is crucial as it means that he can be a part of this Saudi Arabian project, but he won't be locked there forever and he'll be able to move on at the age of 24 when he has loads of time left to show how good of a player he is in Europe. Obviously, he's also going to be earning a lot of money. 
to be exact, 30 million euros over the three year period, which equates to around 190,000 euros per week. However, we must remember that in Saudi Arabia, it is tax free. He will earn every single penny of his contract. So even if the European club were to offer him such wages, he wouldn't earn as much money. So what do you think? Do you understand why Gabri Vega has made the move to the Gulf state and respect him for earning loads of money? Or are you on the side of people such as Tony Cruz who think it is embarrassing that a player at such a young age with such promise is already selling his career? Yeah, can't lie. this is giving me Oscar flashbacks. Me personally, I agree with Tony Cruz. I think footballers earn so much money that even 50 grand a week, which may not be loads in the football world, we're doing fine. And all of the human right abuses in Saudi Arabia, me personally, I wouldn't feel quite right about the move. Not that footballers and football clubs care about that much anyway. But I would love to hear what you think. Let me know in the comments down below, do you think it is a good or a bad move for Gabri Vega? Thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please be sure to subscribe and like the video. And of course, let me know what you think down below. And also check out our podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, where we talk everything football. Have you enjoyed the video and you want to watch more? Click one of these videos. Thank you for watching. I've been Axel Hartman. You've been watching some of the crossbar. Goodbye.